Peace Reflections. You're over here with Tarithia. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button because we are here for another symbolism video, okay? Now, with that being said, Reflection, um, make sure you go over to Rumble as well and subscribe to me on Rumble because I'm going to be dropping a lot of great content over there tonight. And again, it's Tarithia Perez on every platform. So, now we are here to talking about free my son or Freemasonry, okay? Reflection, as you can see, this is a temple and most people will know this on um, this particular temple in the back okay when you are looking into freemasonry you have to remember reflection everything is symbolism it's only magic if you can hide it in plain sight okay but let's um take a look at what do we notice about this a lot of people don't know why this is very important keep in mind um in freemasonry reflection those are architects so an architect is someone that designs things they build things okay this is a person that plays with numbers so that's why you find um so many um sacred numbers into certain um buildings into certain temples into certain um artifacts that they are finding now okay reflection even into how our world is designed and built today okay remember we broke a lot of things down um in washington all right but we're going to do more um in a couple of other videos but let's stay on topic okay so what do you notice in here we notice that they are four columns okay we know there are four columns the number four is very um significant we know we have north south east and west reflection or it's east and west really because the compass was flipped but there's a video for another day and we're going to break down that um in part two okay the cross or um the t or the x however you want to put it okay reflection so the number four there are four columns and in those four columns what do you have you have three spaces reflection okay you got to think like an architect everything nothing is by coincidence everything is by design okay so you have four columns and you have three spaces which you are entering those are the thresholds okay we have the three the six and we have the nine okay so if you add the four columns in the three spaces you get the number seven we all know the number seven is supposed to be a godly number it represents the divine presence okay so if you look at the number seven reflection what is the number seven i keep telling you numbers are symbols symbols are numbers okay and they're all one and the same. So you can see a particular symbol. You can see a particular shape. But it really means a certain type of number. You just have to have that particular um, insight to know, okay, this is one thing. But it's it appears as one thing. But it's really something different. Okay? So that's how that goes. Okay, so let's talk about the number verse 7. Now, the number 7 gives you a 90 degree angle. Okay? Reflection. Remember, the number 3, 6, and 9 will always repeat. Okay? Will always repeat in um in their architect okay so the number seven really represents um 90 degrees because it's a 90 degree angle right there reflection if you look to the side it's a 90 degree angle okay it's half of a square as well right okay so it's half of a square as well reflection so think about it like that all right but let's go back and let's talk about the number seven and the number nine because it's four columns right and it's three spaces. Four plus three gives you what? That gives you seven, right? Okay, where do we get the number nine from? Nine, we got the nine from the 90 degrees, right? Nine plus zero gives you the nine, all right? So we're gonna do nine times seven. Nine times seven gives you 63, right? 63 broken down gives you what? Nine. So there goes the three, the six, and the nine. Okay, okay. So let's um let's keep it going, all right? Let's talk, um, let's talk more um about remember i told you that the cross really um it's four directions but it means so much more reflection and we're going to talk about that more um in a different video but you also have to think that's why you see the compass so much because in order to know where you're going you have to know where you've been i always say that in order to know where you're going you have to know why where you've been so in order to know why things are working the way they are you have to know that everything is built off of the three the six and the nine okay reflection so and a lot of things are also built um through um architect as well all right so let's um let's talk more okay let's talk about um the steps let's talk about the steps all right think about the sun and the moon this also represents that as well reflection this represents duality all right it represents the sun and it represents the moon all right so the seven steps think about it certain um throughout um freemasonry you have this thing called the seven steps reflection all right 
within the seven steps that's how you reach your um divine mastery that's how you reach up to the 33 degrees um there's more degrees than 33 but that is how um you reach up to your 33 um degree or your third degree okay so what um what do we mean when you hear the the term stone builders okay what do you mean when you hear the term st the term the term <laughs> stone builders reflection okay you have to think what did they build they were using stone to build certain things reflection okay that's why they are called the master builders because not only do, did they build certain um wonders reflection they also um incorporated gematria with it they also incorporated the threes the six the nine they incorporated all of the master numbers okay because they knew um the power within numbers all right numbers and locations all right so think about it like that all right so when you hear there'll be like the stone this or the stone that that's why you hear that term all right so let's talk about um the symbol this symbol right here at the bottom with the half crescent moon reflection and the nine stars what does this mean this whole thing right there literally means hidden it literally just means hidden reflection and you will um see this everywhere you will see these in a lot of um companies you will see this logo in a lot of um businesses a lot of warehouses a lot of places like their reflection it's even um big corporations that use this their sister their sister companies will use it too that's how you are you know they're all in the same loop okay so it literally means hidden all right so think about the word occult what does occult mean it simply means hidden right okay so there's always three pathways that you can go through reflection just like what is up here all right remember i told you it's three different pathways that you can take you can take the n the s and the o okay and we'll talk about that later but the n the s and the o all represents those three spaces within that temple okay so that's why you will see it will be built with um three spaces three thresholds that you can go in and you will also see four columns reflection you know some things are not um by coincidence it's by design all right hit the like and subscribe button until next time i